going to do a continuity test on the motor. So we're going to open the, the terminal box. We're going to remove the configuration. This one is configured in star. So if we remove it, remove the configuration plates, make sure you keep everything where well. So remove the configuration plates. Then we can can test them with an ohmmeter. I have a clamp here which works as a voltmeter for AC voltage, a voltmeter for, for DC voltage, and an ohmmeter, and also um, for current um, ammeter. So it works as an ammeter, ohmmeter, voltmeter. So now we're going to use it, set it as, as um, ohmmeter, we put it in ohms, and then we test to see what the readings are. First of all, we test U1 with uh, this open loop, U1 and, uh, I don't know, it's not listed. We see an open loop here. We have another, we have six, six ohms. So we assume that this is U1 and U2. So we have six ohms, which is all right. So we go uh, U1 and, v, and V2, there should not be continuity with them. So it's still open loop. So we, we do the same with earth, with chassis. You see, there's continuity with, with chassis. So this has, uh, this, this, uh, there's a communication between this, um, between this motor and chassis. You see, anywhere you test it. So already it's telling you that this, is, that this uh, winding is bad. So we go to the next one. Test it with this one, open loop, open loop. So this is a uh, three point, uh, three ohms. This is, this winding is still good. If you test it to earth, this one, this winding is good. It's not linked to earth. So that first winding is bad. We go to the next one. Okay, it's three, three ohms, which is good. 3.5 ohm, which is good. Try with the next one, open loop. With the next one, open loop, and uh, with the chassis, bad. So we know that one wind, one of the windings is bad. So, so with this, the first winding, which is this one, we know that it's burnt out. That's burnt out the winding because it's communicating to Earth. It's communicating to Earth, so we know that it's bad. So having tested this motor. Having done a continuity test on this motor and seen that one of the phases is not good, we can also we can um, we can now do uh, we don't have to do um, an insulation resistance test, but I just want to take you through how to do an insulation resistance test on this motor. This is a, a very cheap um, insulation resistance tester. It's an insulation tester which I bought from eBay. It's, it's, uh, it's quite cheap and uh, it, it does the job. You can test it at 250 ohms, at 500, uh, 250 volts, 500 volts or 1,000 volts. So uh, first of all, we can uh, check, check the tester to make sure that the tester is correct, it's doing well. So if we, if we put both of them together, which means that there's, that, there's no insulation. What we have now is zero insulation, and we make sure we put it at 500 volts. Set 500 volt. We inject 500 volts on it. You press test. It shows zero. We have zero volt, zero mega ohm. So zero ohm is what we have here because there's no insulation. But when you separate it, when you separate it, there's insulation because it's, there's no contact with them. They're not having contact at all. When you test the tester again, it gives you one, one mega ohm. It stays at one mega ohm. It shows you that you're injecting 500 volts, injecting voltage on one mega ohm. If you touch this, if you put your hand between these two terminals, you're going to inject 500 volts into your body. So you better not touch it while you're pressing that. So now we're going to test the motor. 
first of all, you have to identify uh, which one is U1 and U2 because this motor is not actually labeled. So we have to, um, we have to find out which one is which. Uh, yeah, it is kind of, it is kind of, you know. So, but you have to, uh, before, it's kind of, it's not very uh, visible. So we have to identify which one is which before we do this, uh, before we do what we want to do. So these are the windings, the terminals of the windings. A simple ohmmeter can tell us which one is which. If we test this one, and we'll see how it, which one has continuity. It has continuity, this one and this one. So you know that this is U1 and U2. You know, let's just put them here. Suppose they are U1 and U2. We'll put them in the corner there, U1 and U2. And this one, and this one, they're not. So this one and this one are V1 and V2. So we just put them here. So now we know that this is W1 and W2. So now we're gonna do our test. We've identified all the terminals. So we're gonna inject, inject uh, 500 volts to see the insulation. The insulation of the of the windings. So we'll put it on U1 and U2. There should be continuity, so you're not gonna be able to inject it. It's only when you put it on, on U1 and V1, prob, uh, V1 of, and V2, that's when you're able to inject. So we inject 500 volts, it's not gonna happen. It's gonna give you zero volt, because there's there's no insulation because this is U1 and um, U2, so there's no insulation. So if you test it between U1, U1 and uh, V2, there should be insulation. If you read, if it does not read one mega ohm, then this is bad. The insulation is it's failed. So we inject it. It's still zero. It's not. It's, it's, there's no insulation. Insulation is bad, you know. So, because this motor is bad, it's failed the insulation resistance test. We we uh, tried on this one as well, on W two. We inject between U one and W two. We inject five hundred volts. We have one mega ohm. So, if we inject it, we have one mega ohm. So, between U one and uh, between U one and W and W two, there's a uh, there's insulation, but it has failed the other one. It has failed uh, between. It has failed between U1 and V and V2. So this has failed the insulation resistance test, and there's no need to continue.